Hey guys, welcome back. I am Laura Wilkie with Down Home with Lemon Pie and this is Watch Us Homeschool Wednesday. I am so excited that you guys are joining us. Um, we are sharing every Wednesday adventures from our homeschool life, things that we're using, curriculum things, all kinds of fun. So if that is interesting to you, um, do subscribe, like, and comment, share the videos. And there are a, there's a whole playlist listed below if you want to catch up on all the ones that you have already missed. In today's video, I am sharing with you guys what we do for math, what math looks like. I had a request for um, people who wanted to see how we do math in our homeschool, and I'm sharing with you guys right now. We have a four-day week that we do homeschool, and I take three of those days that they do their math books, and then one day is like a math games or a speed test of some sort, and I'm going to share with you guys all of those things. This is the game they chose for today. This is Math War. It is a card game. They each have a stack of cards and they um, put down a card and whoever has the bigger number when you add up the math fact gets that set. If they have um, the same number like here, then they put a blank one and then a flip over the next card and um, whoever's is the biggest in that set gets all of those cards. So the point is to collect the whole deck of cards they enjoy playing this and there are several different versions. There's even a fraction one, a multiplication one, division. This one is just the simple addition, subtraction. And these are super inexpensive. They are only $2.99 on Amazon if you need to grab these for your own home. So this year for math, we are using teaching textbooks. We have used this for several years now. This is my oldest and she is in sixth grade and we have used it since she started the system in third grade is where it starts. And we have absolutely really enjoyed this program. It is super simple. Um, it's very easy to use. It is, um, it teaches it for you. So you don't have to do that, but my kids actually enjoy using the books now so that there is a CD option. My kids do have both options. It all comes as a set. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but I totally think it's worth it, especially for those third to sixth grade levels. Um, that is what we have been using it for. And you can repeat once you've purchased it, you can repeat using it for all of those other kids as they come up and get older. So this is how the workbook looks. And like I said, there's also a disc option if you wanted to do it on the computer, which I do have my little guy doing, but it has the little lesson and then it shows you that all the little problems. And then it has the answer booklet where you just flip through and you can see, you know, where you messed up, what you did wrong. And it's just super, super simple. I love this so much. And I actually prefer the CD option, but my bigger girls do like the book option. So they are using that. Now this is how it looks on the CD. This is the third grade level and my youngest or my oldest son, but my youngest one that's using this um, program is on this. And I love the way this works. It talks to you, it grades it, it teaches it. It does the whole thing for you. So I really, really like this. Chapter 59, multiplying by two. Today we're going to talk about multiplying by two. We'll start with all the facts. Let me show you those. If you look closely, you'll see that every answer to these facts ends in either 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. All of the answers have one of those digits in the ones place. And there's a good reason for that. It turns out that when you multiply a whole number by 2, the answer is always an even number. And remember, even numbers have to have a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 in their ones place. So here's what's important. You can use this rule if you... So it has the lesson, then it does practice problems. I've actually instructed my son to do this one incorrectly so that you can see what it looks like when they get it wrong. And then it has a set of actual problems. There's usually about 20, give or take, um, problems for them to complete. And like I said, it grades them for them. Mm -hmm. 
whether they get the problem wrong or right, it does give them an option on that screen right there where they can see how to walk through and how to do it if they need that. Now this is my fourth grader. She is also using teaching textbooks and she has opted to do it in the book as well. So she is going through, this is what her book looks like. I just wanted to show you a different grade level, what that looks like, but she does have the option of doing it on the computer as well, like her younger brother. I do provide the kids with that graph paper there. They're little books that I got on Amazon and it's super helpful for lining up numbers and things. Sometimes the lessons do have a bonus round where they play a game and they see how many they can get correct on there. Um, there's also like little, the little gopher there, the little groundhog at the top, you can change him. So there's a, little, a couple little things that the kids can do, but not so much that it's distracting them from their lesson. Now there is right here at the end of the lesson where they can check the grade book if I wanted to go back and see um, how they did for that particular lesson or how they did on previous lessons if I wanted to go and check it at the end of the week for the entire week or something like that or even for the whole school year you can go back and forth and check it out and see how how well they're doing um, this usually I think all of them come in four with four CD options like four CD discs on each grade level so that is how it goes that's teaching textbooks like I said we're enjoying it now this is a speed test. We actually got these when we were still doing My Father's World and I am so glad we did. I love these speed tests. These are called Fast Facts. They are these cards. There is one for each subject, so or each level, I guess, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Even if you're not using My Father's World, you can buy these off of their website and I don't even think they're very much. I wanna say 12, maybe 15, something like that. And they are totally worth it because we have used them for years they just put a piece of paper underneath it they go through you can do them as a speed like time it and see how many they get in so many minutes or you can just use it as a simple um you know review thing where they just keep doing it and just get all of them done as fast as they can but not necessarily time it because sometimes that can be stressful i know i remember doing these when i was a kid and it would stress me out with the timer but if they're just having to get them all done it's just a nice little page of of problems that they can complete so they have this option as well when we do like our math game day um, they can do a, that game that you saw previously or they can do this speed test there's a couple other things little apps that they have on their tablets that they can also utilize and then on the back of this they flip it over and the little holes line up so they can grade and see what they missed or how many they got correct and you can see there it has the little answers next to them like i said i really really like these i think they're really well done don't make the mistake i did the first time we used them i tried laminating them because i wanted them to last forever and that does not work because you cannot obviously um flip it over again unless you get in there with an exacto knife and cut out every one of those holes so don't make that mistake they are cardstock they're not super thick but i wish they were a little thicker but they're they are well made enough that we don't have any problems with them and they have lasted like i said for several years another tool we have in our homeschool is we use the skip counting songs i like to use these for learning multiplication facts um they're super simple they are just right there in itunes and the kids have been able to learn a lot of facts this way. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, and then we drop to 42, 48, 54. After that, 60, 66, then come 72. Counting by sixes, counting by sixes. Six times twelve is seventy-two. Mm. But can we do it again? After that, sixty. Sixty-six then comes seventy-two. <laughs> Counting by sixes. Counting by sixes. Six times twelve is seventy-two. So not only does this make it super simple to learn those multiplication facts, but because it is on iTunes, I can play it on my phone and we can listen to it in the car when we're on the go. So I like that too. With my first grader, I just have a blank book that I put in his math problems each day or however often we're going to do it. And 
he just does them in here. This is equivalent to something you would buy or a expensive program that you would buy, but this one is free and it covers all the same things in these early years. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.